Hello, and welcome to the My Wool Mitten podcast. My name is Carrie, and you've found me on my farm in the middle of the Mitten, Michigan's lower peninsula, in the upper Midwest of the United States. I'm coming to you on a March morning, and I really wanted to be sure to bring you down to the barn with me for some bucket talk this month. Shearing is happening on April 1st, as in Saturday, as in days from now, and I'm not ready I'm not ready, and my barn's not ready. I'm not ready for shearing, and I'm not ready for lambing. And let me tell you why. When I say I'm not ready, I mean mentally as much as literally or physically. I am excited, super, super excited. But the barn isn't clean. My pens aren't set up. I'm running out of hay. Did I mention hay? Have I mentioned hay recently? Have you noticed hay is a recurring theme in my life? And I'm not mentally prepared. I'm full of self-doubt, guys. I've done this for three quarters of my life, and I still have butterflies, anxiety, nerves, second guesses. And you might ask why it's so different with the Shetlands versus the Corridor flock that I've raised for years. Um, But it just is. I don't know the routine of these girls. I don't really know what to expect. Um, I, I don't know when and how they'll lamb. I know Shetlands are known to be excellent mothers, and I trust the shepherdess um, where they came from, and so I'm sure they'll be fine. In the end, the sheep will survive my inadequacies and do what sheep do best. They'll have their lambs, and they'll grow their wool, and everything will be fine. I'm just... I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling it a little bit. And so I wanted to just bring you down to the barn with me and and tell you how I'm feeling and to tell you that it doesn't matter how long that you've done this, it's still new every year. And so I'm looking forward with much anticipation and excitement, but I'm also just a little nervous. I know I'll feel better once I get the barn cleaned up and ready for Saturday's shearing. Today we have a beautiful day, but we're predicted to have rain for the next two days. So um, just a few minutes is all I wanted to talk to you about. And I wanted to dedicate this short little vlog to my friend Stephanie of Condors Croft and Garden, a new shepherdess learning as she goes with a little flock of Shetland sheep and an East Frisian. And so I want to send her some encouragement as she begins her journey with sheep. And also to my friend Rachel of Barkland Croft on Fair Isle, who shepherds many, many more sheep than I do, also on her own, but in the harshest of climates and with very uncooperative weather. And she does it with a smile and um, I'm sure tears and frustrations and a few cuss words that, that we don't all see, but I don't know why, but I was thinking of the two of them uh, as I was r- recording this. And so to Rachel and Stephanie and to all of the shepherds out there and shepherdesses who are getting ready for lambing and shearing. So I'm going to try to record a couple of short vlogs over the next couple of days. I'll, I'll show getting the barn ready. And of course, I'll talk to you about shearing, the ones that I'm going to shear. So thanks for being here with me and thanks for your encouragement. And please know that I realize how lucky I am to have such a beautiful facility and a, a lovely setup to have lambs. And I don't take it for granted. I'm lucky to have this barn and and the pastures that I have, and I appreciate it. So I just hope that I do it justice this year. So enjoy seeing the sheep. Um, Watch little Ichabod running around there, and I will talk to you guys again, hopefully, tomorrow.